So as dawn breaks over the fields, the dedicated Intel Prize Patrol is on their way from Folsom to Fresno to West Clovis High to surprise the latest Intel Science Talent Search winner, Nalesh, and let him know that he's on his way to DC. Alright, here we are, off to the principal's office. It's about to be on like Donkey Kong. on a yearly basis. He's always been doing science um, and studying and doing everything on his own, I think, a lot of it. And, uh, but this is like the pinnacle for him. I mean, seriously, it really, this is what he really, really wanted. He even said, you know, that he'd be devastated that he, if he didn't get it, like two months ago when he applied. And uh, he's very motivated and uh, he's a self-starter and he's a voracious reader. I always complain the number of books that he buys. Oh, yeah. He probably bought probably about maybe close to 100 books in the Serious. Every week, or he gets one or two books. He orders books off the um, online yeah. Barnes and Noble. And he, my husband, was actually complaining about how much money he's spending on these books. He's like, Neelish, do you actually read these books, or what do you do? Yeah. If you saw um, our house, you would see yeah. how many. I mean, every single week we get something. And he's read books on fluid mechanics. He's read theoretical physics. He's taught himself advanced math. I mean, that's, you know, that's like he lost really track good. of his thinking. I think after eighth grade, you know, like his, um, you know, just any math or any of the sciences that he's doing, we basically have no idea what he's doing, which is why we were frustrated when he was getting all these books because we thought, come on, you know, he really cannot be understanding. Is it, you know, is it possible? Congratulations. On behalf of Intel, I would like to present you with this check for $5,000. Okay, so I was cutting cake and grading papers. So, yeah. But I kind of like to have an interesting life, not just to do one thing for all eternity. Just, you know, mix it up a little bit. Point. He's a senior now, and we've gone to a lot of science competitions. And there always comes a point where there's the award ceremony coming up, and our hearts are pounding, thinking, well, you know, how far did he get? Did he get any recognition at all? And to be honest with you, in many cases, he's been recognized, and we're very fortunate with that, because he's just such a great kid, and he has these great ideas that are all natural, and they're all his own. But every time we get to that point of competition, there's a good luck thing that we do. He asks me to tie his tie. He, 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 I don't know if he doesn't know how to tie a tie, but he would think maybe he should since he's a pretty good theoretical physicist, but he doesn't know or can't tie a tie or wants me to tie it. So I'll tie his tie and I'll give it to him and he'll put it on. And then what, what he'll do is he'll kind of just ruffle it up so it's not really kept. He wants it loose with the collar kind of hanging out because he thinks that, hey, that's, that's his good luck. He wants, to, he wants to use that kind of disheveled look uh, up there a little bit on stage. And believe it, it seems to work. <laughs> uh, well, one day my dad uh, plugged in his credit card number on Amazon and apparently it saves it. So anytime I wanted to book, I just click buy and he would never find out. For some reason, it never popped up on the credit card bill. So I just kept going. I'm trying to think of one. Uh, I'd probably go with, probably Jessica Alba, that's a good bet. I would like them to find something they like, like if they really want to be an artist, you know, I'd like them to go, you know, find some sort of equivalent for that. I don't really want to push them into anything, so just hopefully they can find something they're good at and do great at it. That these students are capable of so much if we just encourage them and give them a way, give them an avenue, give them some kind of a vehicle and they'll go beyond the four walls of the classroom and ask questions that maybe other people haven't asked and maybe come up with some answers that nobody else knows.